Carolinas. North Carolina is home to nearly 40 incredible snake species, only six of which are venomous. Now of those six, only two are very common, the copperhead and the cottonmouth. Now we've looked at copperheads in previous videos, but until very recently, I had never actually seen a living eastern cottonmouth in my state. In this video, we're going to learn a little bit about the ecology of the species and how to tell them apart from non-venomous lookalikes. Let's get started. Alright guys, check it out. This beautiful snake right here is none other than the eastern cottonmouth. Come here buddy. Stick? You like stick? Now, I have actually never seen a living cottonmouth in North Carolina, believe it or not. I'm not sure how that happened because I've been to search for them uh, lots of different times. I've seen their closest cousin, the copperhead. But finally, we have this gorgeous individual right here. Now, first thing you notice is the banding is actually slightly different than copperheads. It's not as Hershey Kiss shaped. Um, it's it kind of indistinct actually, but you do have these dots in the middle and it's, it's triangular. These are harder to identify than copperheads. People commonly confuse them with harmless water snakes. Um, however, that banding, if you're looking at it from the side, it's very triangular and you have those dots in the middle. This is a really gorgeous individual. I'm glad we can see that because sometimes the bigger ones get pretty dark. But I mean, right off the bat, you see why they're called cottonmouths. Just look at the defensive posture. He's flaring up his sides, he's gaping his mouth. And every time I move, he's showing me that white interior. Now that says to a predator who's looking at a brown snake with that crazy, crazy white colored mouth, hey, this thing might be dangerous. And yes, these are pit vipers, they are venomous, and they have hematoxic venom. So that venom is designed to break down the blood cells and tissues of the body. It's made for prey items, um, things like frogs, mice, um, they even fish and other snakes in aquatic ecosystems. It's not made for humans, but it can do a number to you. Much more potent, some scientists think even about 10 times more potent than copperhead venom. So you don't want to get tagged by a cottonmouth. However, there's lots of myths surrounding the species. You can see I'm here about two feet away from him. Um, and I do have a stick just in case he like decides to come my direction, but they don't chase you. I've heard so many people tell me, oh, I've been chased or my dog's been chased. It doesn't happen. These snakes want to get out of your way. Cottonmouths are a very important part of our coastal ecosystems. As large predatory snakes, they help control the populations of a variety of different fish, amphibians, and other reptiles, ensuring proper energy balance in the lower trophic levels. Additionally, if a predator such as a red-tailed hawk is brave enough to catch an adult cottonmouth, they provide a huge amount of energy for those higher level consumers. So there is absolutely no reason to fear these snakes. A healthy respect is all you need to have a positive encounter with a cottonmouth. And you can see that these truly are gorgeous pit vipers. But we're going to give them a little poke off the road. I want to say he was crossing this direction. Yeah. So let's see. If I can just get him up on here. This isn't optimal stick, <laughs> but it'll do for now. Now you can tell that it's not very bright outside. It's still... I'm going to even crawl up here. It's getting towards nighttime, and cottonmouths are pretty much nocturnal in the summer months because it is too hot during the day for them to effectively thermoregulate. So that's why he's out right now. Please stay on sneak. Oh, look at that underbelly pattern. Dude, that's gorgeous. He's a stunner. So we'll move him right off the road. No, 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 no. Off the road, off the road. I'm trying to help you, friend. Come here. Come here, come here. All right, there we go. He'll probably disappear into this grass in about a minute. But yeah, you can see they <laughs> they do have pretty good defensive posturing, but they do not want to come after you. He's back in his habitat and we're all good to go. That is such a cool animal. All right, everyone. That's just about it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the Eastern Cottonmouth. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel for new educational wildlife content coming every Saturday morning. Also, if you want to see more videos and photos from my adventures, please be sure to follow my Twitter and Instagram at The Wild Report. Thanks so much for watching and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.